around this thing is you make sure you turn this valve off to your house first. Okay. That's the first thing that's got to be turned off. All right. Then you got to take this plug out right here. Okay. This plug right here is your prime plug. Okay. So you need a adjustable wrench, a pretty good size one. Yeah. And pull on it until you get it unscrewed. Okay. And you just keep filling this line up until it's full. You fill this up with the water. You fill pour this water up with water in. until it's full. Okay. And then put the plug back in and turn your power back on. Because okay. your power will be off. Right. And you're doing that. Okay. Just make sure that power's off. Alright. So you don't get wet. Okay. <laughs> and then just turn it on. Turn it on and leave this plug loose. Right. Until this thing picks up prime. Okay. You'll see that needle jump up there and start picking up. Well, it just picks up right and you can close it off. Okay. Because it'll get air in it. You gotta get rid of that air out of that system. Okay. Then you'll just go ahead and fill it in this tank. Right. How's then you get it full, just turn your valve back on and you're done. That's all? That's you don't it. have to do it several times? Or you might have to, but you might Fill it up again or whatever, do mm -hmm. it a few times? Yep. Okay. Wow. Just keep repeating the process there until it picks up. Until it picks up. That's easier than the one we've seen on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> this guy was like adjusting something down there and he was he was uh, had a hose and he was yeah. doing all kinds of junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Break the air up yeah. 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 Now, this, is easy. this here it's up higher in the well. Yeah. Okay. So you, when you pull water here, it's going to head towards the well, which is a good thing. Okay. So that way your air all might have to come to the top. Oh, okay, cool. So the air is bleeding out because you left that loops. Uh, that whatever you call it. Because when that. you fill this thing up here, you turn that power, or you put that plug in, you turn that power on. I only put it in probably about three or four uh, rounds, mm -hmm. just enough I can turn it, and then turn the power on there, and you'll see the air come out around it. It'll squirt out. A little bit of water's going to come out when it's trying to pump. When it takes off, the gauge will start raising. Just go ahead and start cranking it off. Tight. Okay. Great. All right. It ain't hard. It'd be like a okay. rattly sound to a kind of a smoother sound. Sure. You okay. Noisy. Yeah, especially when I had it down long ago, when it was down to zero, you heard it growling. Yeah. That's what was pumping. Okay. It's pulling hard down because that's its max pull. Okay. When it's down low. But right now there, it'll work fine on this 3050. Usually nothing happens to these unless you get a chunk of dirt in it. If it does, it'll build like 28, 28 pounds, 20 to 28 pounds, and that's as far as she'll go. Uh -huh. It'll set them run all day long. So dirt so that down dirt, there? dirt being that jet down there. Like the foot, the little, what is that called, the foot, foot valve? The jet is what it's called. It's the called jet. the jet. Okay. The foot valve's on the bottom of the jet. I'll show you what one looks like. I got one on the truck so you can see what it looks like. Yeah. So it has a basket. nozzle mm -hmm. and a venturi tube. Right. The, the nozzle is is what makes uh, come through the venturi tube because it's got to hit it directly straight. Right. If it goes off one way or the other, it won't pump. Okay. Your human hair will stop it from pumping. Wow. It will not pump. Jesus. What? And that's a pain to do them. Because sometimes they work easy, sometimes they can be hard. Yeah. So it just depends. you got to make sure with the dirt's out. A lot of them will take a pull and make, say, yep, I cleaned it, put it back in. I pull it out there, it's full of dirt. All right. you got to get them pipes clean. So if it gets dirt in there, how do you, how do you get the dirt out? you, you got to pull it. Pull this out, you of, the, pull out of the pull the lines out. Pull the lines out, huh? You pull both lines out there, you got to take it These apart. These Yep, down in that hole. Or down in that hole. Down in that hole. Okay. They gotta come out. How do you get those out? You reach down there with a. Yep. Okay. So you gotta screw a lift bar in down there. Okay. Oh, down in that. Yeah, there's a hole right there on the top. Yeah. That's threads. You take a one inch bar screw in that there and you pull it out. Mm-hmm. How do you turn the light on? The doggy wants to see down there. You got your light? Where's your light, Randy? Yeah. Let's see if I can light brighten it up for you. Yeah, okay. So you, you stick a... One inch bar down in that. And there's a screw in? Yep, just screw, screws, the screws down, down, down in there. Down and then you pull... Yep, pull that. That whole thing pulls out? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. What is that called, that stuff down there? That's a pitless adapter. That's, the, That's a fancy pitless adapter. A so what we, adapter? How do we call it a fancy pitless adapter? Pitless? Mm -hmm. Flipless? Pitless. Pitless. Oh, pitless. Okay. It got its name because there's no well pit. Okay. You can see way down there. That way no kids fall in. Somebody dropped a stick in there, though. I see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you just pull that thing. Will that thing pull right up mm -hmm. out of there? It's not attached to anything you work in there? It, you work it. When you put your bar in there, you, yeah. you just shake it back and forth a little bit there, uh -huh. which will break a seal on it, uh -huh. and you just pull it up out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then lines will come out, and it'll go however far it is. It'll go on down through until you get them out. 
And then what and do you do once you get foot, it out? Now you gotta take it, take the foot valve and everything, or the jet assembly completely apart. Uh -huh. Take the jet it. assembly apart and clean it. Clean it, then put it back together. Make uh -huh. sure your pipes are clean going that way. Okay. It only takes one little chunk of dirt. Wow. I'll show you what them nozzles look like, and you'll understand why. Okay. So when you put them back in there, you, you got to keep your. You put it back clean in there. Yeah. Put it back in, otherwise you'll have the same trouble again. You keep leave your grass and stuff off of it as much as you can. Usually you slide it down with your hands anyhow, so you'll knock it off anyhow. Okay. You slide it back down, hook it back in. Then, you fill the up, then go back in there and you take that plug out there yeah. and start pouring water till you get her full. Okay. All right. It makes between. Five to ten gallons, probably five gallons. To fill, to fill, fill that up? Fill it yep. Up. Fill okay. it back up. To prime it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Because every 20 feet of one inch line is a gallon. Yeah. Inch and a quarter, every 10 feet wow. is one gallon. Okay. So it takes that much water to they fill it. They must have an iron filter in there at one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah. So they frozen busted it. Mm. That's old school way though. Mm-hmm. 